Oscar. It's your ninth birthday. We're having a problem with that hat, aren't we? Happy birthday to you. Welcome for right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oscar. Nine years old today. You want to go? Happy birthday to you. Mama loves you. Mwah. <laughs> right, sit down, sit down. Good boy. Happy birthday, Daga. Nine years ago, you chose me. How about this hat, though, huh? How about that hat? Mama's boy, you've been a good dog. I've been blessed. Yeah? Sure. You ready to go? You know, like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Take this stupid thing off my head. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Crafting with Lola and Oscar. Well, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Today, this uh, video is going to be all about creating a card kit for a friend. So currently I am not doing card kits. I would love for people to ask me to do a card kit and to order card kits from me. All you have to do is say, Lola, you know what? I saw this video where you did so and so and so, but I don't have those dies. I don't have that paper. I don't even know how to do it. Can you can you do something like that for me and then give me the instructions and give me an example and then I'll try my best to put it together? Well, yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> and that's exactly what my friend did. I have a friend out west who is not necessarily artsy, um, but she likes the idea, but she just needed a little help. So I said, well, what I would do is I will create a card for you. I will give you the example and then I will do all the laboring and then you can put the cards together according to the instructions that I give you uh, in the mail. So what I thought I would do with this video is instead of being redundant, I'm going to actually post this up so she can actually watch this video and she can, uh, because she's busy, you know, um, people have families and stuff, but that way she can go back at her leisure and step by step and then she'll be able to put the card together herself. And that way I'll have to do double work, right? <laughs> you guys get a chance to see how I made a card kit um, from start to finish. And then also she'll be able to, uh, you know, watch this as she goes. So from my collection, and I have not collection, from all of my collections, a numerous collections, I have brought together some papers, some dies, um, and stamps from different parts of all my craft room because she said she wanted a simple card but elegant and then she wanted something with a nativity scene in it. So what I've done is these are all the elements um, that I have that I'm going to be using to create this card for her and this is going to be the one that is going to actually go into her package as a sample card. I'm not going to actually put it together um, Totally, I mean, I'm just going to temporarily maybe put tape on it, a little bit of tape on it, so she can pull it apart and practice on this one before she, in earnest, puts the glue and everything on all the other ones that she's going to be doing. So, uh, the first thing is the card base. She did like the gold and the black. Um, and this is from a die that I had um, that actually, it, it's a, it really is kind of like one of these cards. Let me see if I can get it bent right. It's like a flip card, you know, where this part flips out like that kind of. I don't want to bend it up because I have it the way I want it. But in this case, for her card, it's going to be like a tent card. So it'll literally just sit like, it'll literally sit on the desk like this. It'll be front and back. It'll have a sentiment. And it'll also have a place where she can actually sign or write whatever she wants. A lot of times, cards... Um, will look so pretty, but then it's like, well, okay, where am I going to write that? I ain't got a place to sign the name. What's up with that? So whenever I create cards, I always try and figure out a way, how can I still make it nice, maybe hide a place where they can always go in and write, uh, sign the card, and that's what I've done with this one. So with this card, I'm going to turn it around, and uh, these dies, um, some 
everybody may be watching, you may recognize this these dyes, but I won't get all into it because they're different companies from different, you know, just a mixture of everything. So we won't, I won't tell you unless you ask me where did I get this dye or where did I get this dye or where, you know, if you remark or you comment on the video, then I will respond back. But other than that, I'm, I'm not going to do that on this one. All right, so with this, very simple. What I want to do, first of all, is for her card, because this is going to be her example, I'm going to go on, and everything has written instructions, and I'll show you the box in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and write on here so she knows when she gets this, yes, this is the card base. Now, that's all wrapped up, and it tells her that's the card base, but at the same time, she doesn't know what is considered to be the front of the card, vice what is going to be the back of the card. And I just thought about that. I thought, oh, Lord, let me tell her that. So I am simply going to use a metallic marker because this is black paper, and I'm going to write on here, front. Okay? And that's fine because something's going to be glued down on that. All right, so as we go, and this may not be a very, very long um, video, so let me put everything to the side, and let's just deal with the front of the card. So on the front of the card, we have this beautiful die, which I think is so, so, so pretty. Okay, I'm not going to glue it all the way down, but what I'm going to do, and I was having a little bit of problems with this, so I think I might end up doing this part first, and then sticking that in like that. But I'm going to put just a little bit of tape, and you know what, I do this every time. Now, where's my, oh, here's my little, here's my little pen. I'm going to use a, just a little bit of glue, just so it'll be temporarily taped down, but not permanently. And um, I'm going to stick this on here. I need my glasses, y'all. I don't know why I'm acting like I don't, because I know I do. Um, so what I want to do is, if you see there's like a, I want to try and get it, this like in the center, and these will be on the bottom. Um, so it'll seem like it's, where's the sticky part? Oh, that does not, okay. And then there's just a little V right here. Now you may not be able to see it, but I can see it. And then I want to put this little circle part right there, just below, like that. I believe that's, I believe that's what I want. Okay, so we have that like that. Okay, and it's just good. So I'm just going to press down a little bit. So she knows that this would be like step one. And matter of fact, I think I will put the order of this. So let me, uh... okay, so I have these all packaged up with it. See how I have everything packaged up, all the cutouts with the instructions, but I think I am gonna put on here step one. I'm gonna have to, no, oh, I can't do that in silver. I need to do it in another color. All right, let me find some. I'm gonna put number one, and then I'll just go back in there. So we're gonna, number one, we're gonna be putting this frame down, okay? And then the second one will be this cutout here, which is all packaged up again, as you can see, okay? And that'll be number two. I'll just put a two here, okay? So number two, we're gonna glue uh, this, right into this circle here. Now, the main thing, uh, yeah, we're gonna glue that in here. Now, it's got a lot of like little snowflakes, little stars and everything. And I was trying to get this uh, certain way. I think I'll try and do it that way. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glue, not glue, just a tape runner. And just, just stick that there. Now, when she actually glues this down, it's gonna be fine. So when she glues, see, you can see the little lip there, but that's fine, because when she actually glues it down, all that'll be closed up. And this fits right in here, because this die was multiple dies, so it really worked out, where this just fits right perfectly in there. Okay, now, I found that the challenge of the front would be this little nativity scene. Now this little nativity scene, as you can see, it's from another, there was another piece to it. I cut it off and then I just kind of trimmed it up a little bit. And then I put a little flat back pearl in there so she wouldn't have to do that. I went on and did that for her. And then what I'm going to do 
is take this and I'm going to sit this. I kind of was looking at it like that, but at the same time, because this the way this die was created, you see some of the paper. So I'm thinking about maybe sticking it inside of the circle. That's the other reason why I don't want to uh, put it down permanently because I kind of want it to actually be more like this so that you don't see the paper. All right, okay. And then I will just take a little bit of a, pop that like that. So that's the front of the card. Now I kind of feel like I needed to put more stuff, but again, she's not a card maker. So I didn't want to get really too technical. I just enough so that she'll be able to do something. And that's very simple. She's able to do that. So basically that is the front of the card. Very, very simple. So what I do want to do is go back and pull um, my little, um, my little, uh, what are these things at, y'all? Oh, here they are. Okay, go back and pull these that are all packaged up, the little nativity, and put a number three on that. So she know that the, so it's, um, yeah, one, two, and then this is number three. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Now, we're just simply going to the back of the card. Now, the back of the card, as you can see, you can see now, it'll, it'll just sit up just like a tent, which is absolutely lovely, but um, I was still gonna do something with the back of the card. Now you're still gonna kind of see this part here, but I wanted to create a place where she'd have a sentiment as well as write and also decorate the back a little bit. So the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this frame here, okay? And then we're just gonna simply put it, line it up with that little part right there, okay? Again, just a little bit of glue. So this is gonna be her number four that she does. And then again, there's just a little, as you can see, there's a little pointed area, area, area here. And then as well as on the card, so it gives you a good place how to line it up. Now, I don't want it to be all the way down. I just want it just to be a little above it. So let me see if I can get them going in the right direction. All right, and then we'll just, now, what I could do is I could bring this up to line it up to right here, which, you know, I think I will do. Let me see. Let me see how that looks. If we bring it all the way up to the top. I think it does look better if you bring it all the way up to the Yeah. What? Oh, no, then you get, it looks, no, 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 no. It looks a little weird. Nope, we're going to do it like that. Kind of put it in the middle. I think that's good. Right. And I had just a little bit of temporary tape right there. So it's not that that much that's showing there. I know it's black on black. It's a little hard to see. Um, let's see. Yeah, that didn't really help. <laughs> okay, so that's our number four, right? So we're going to pull the packet out again. Got them all pre-cut um, and packaged up. But I'm going to put a number four on here. So she'll know that this will be step number four. That doesn't come out too good. Okay. That's step number four. And then the next thing is that we have this uh, gold circle. Now, I know there's a little boo-boo on here. You might, oh yeah, see it? It's no big deal because we're going to put the another circle on here. So to to uh, cover up uh, this part here, that part there, okay. Now the circle, it could have, you know, as I'm looking at this, this could go here, but it doesn't look right. That doesn't look right, so you do need this little circle. So this gold circle is gonna be number five. Very simple, so what I'm doing today this is my very first card kit that I have a designed for a friend, and I put it all together. Did all the I did a lot of all the, the hard work so that she can actually create this card herself without having to do all the labor and trying to figure out how do I do this and how do I do that because she's not a crafty person. So 
This is Crafting with Lola and Oscar, my very first card kit. And if you would like me to do one for you, all you gotta do is leave me a comment. You can email me at Lola, the number 35, and I will get back with you straight away. All right, so this is number five. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit again, just a little bit of tape. And then I'm gonna line it up, not to here, but I'm gonna line it up to this circle right here. Just like that. Okay, so we have, this is the back so far. So we have the front of the little tent card. Now, because this is sitting up nicely, I don't even need to put a little thing in between. Uh oh, wait a minute. Something's happening. Oh, okay, there we go. It's sitting up nicely, so I don't need to put like a little something or whatever. I don't know the word I want. I don't need to do that because it's just sitting up by, by itself, which is a blessing. <laughs> All right, number five. Now, the last thing that I want to do is, what I've done is I took a die, just a circle circle of die, or, a, um, you know, what is this called? Scallop. This is a scallop edge die. You may or may not can see, scallop edge die. And I took the die, it was a card, you know, and I put it over the fold, just slightly over the fold, so I would be able to create this little card like this. So what's gonna happen with this one is that this is gonna be the one that we're gonna stamp the sentiment on. I hope I don't mess up. I hope I get this one right. Okay, I'm still gonna bring out my stamping platform. Um, and now for her, she's already, she, her stuff is all stamped up. She won't have to worry about all that stuff. We're, we're trying to make it as easy as possible for her. Um, and this is going to be, in her case, I mean, as you can see, it looks like this. Okay, they're all together. And that's gonna be her number six. And it's only six steps that she has to do because I've done all the rest. So there we go, number six. We'll put that to the side. And then, Lord, where is the stamp? I am so embarrassed. No, what did I do with the stamp? Oh, did I put, oh, I put it back. Okay, so let me, let me get the stamp. I was like, oh no, what did I do with it? Is this it? No, this is not it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just had it. Where's so far? Jesus. Oh, here it is. Okay. And the card, the card bases are in here. So I've already, those are card bases just in case you wanted. But I'll go through all that again and show you what's actually going to be in her package. Okay. Here is the stamp. <laughs> I was like, what did I do with it? Okay. Everything back in her box so I don't miss anything. So when we go back over this, all right, so let's pull out the stamp. And sometimes I can't line up nothing, child. So what I did with this is I, um, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I put a little line here. And then again, this is the, uh, little card where the sentiment is going to go on the front and then she can sign on the, on the inside. So I've lined this up to about right here. Let me get a little piece of tape. I hope this don't mess up. But it's okay because even if it kind of messes up on the back, she's going to glue this down to this part right here anyway. So it doesn't matter, but it's not like I'm trying to make it look bad either. All right, card kit. Card kit. All right. So I'm going to because last time, somehow I kind of, so I've got that line there, Oscar, wait for mama. Okay, now, what I've, I've already cleaned my stamp, so I'm gonna lay this down where I want this to actually show up. Oscar, Oscar just had a third, Oscar turned nine years old on uh, Sunday, the 13th. All right, I'm gonna make sure that, I think that's good. I think we'll leave that there. And now I'll go ahead and I'll press down here. Lift up carefully so not to not to mess up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this. Now it doesn't matter. Well, I'm just this this happened to be really good uh, ink and it works out. So I'm gonna do it real kind of light at first. Oscar! What? What I'm talking, Baba? Okay, now I'm gonna have to come back, I can see. Let me see. All right. All right, 
So we're gonna do it light because I don't want any ink to go around the around the corner. I know we're just going to make sure that this is gonna line up correctly. It looks like it does. Definitely gonna have to re-ink it because I can see the S didn't come out too good. At least it doesn't look like it did. Okay. Well, actually, that looks good. I think, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave good enough alone. So we've gotten that done. And then the last but not least, what I wanna do is pull this off, pull the tape off, and then I'm going to open this up because I'm the pen that I'm using is a, um, uh, it'll bleed through. And I don't want it to bleed through the part where she's going to write on. So I'm actually going to open it up. Go ahead and use the darker yellow to kind of match that star in the front. I don't know why Oscar's crying. He's crying because he hear me talking. He think I'm talking to somebody, and he wants me to pick him up. Y'all can't hear, but believe you me, honey, I hear him. All right, so we're going to do that. Has some really cool crafts coming down the pike, you guys. Um, some things that I don't normally make, I'm going to be uh, posting here pretty soon. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know how well they're going to come out, but I'm going to try. So now we have that there. Okay, now she has her beautiful little um, sentiment and then a place where she can actually write. And so this will go on top of this like this. And again, I'm just going to put a, just a little bit of tape right there. And then we'll center this. And then this is her card. We'll just center it. Up right there. I'm gonna open it up and just press in a little bit. And there you go. And I think it's absolutely just enough for a person for their first time making a card. I think it's very elegant. She didn't really have to, do, you know, she's gotta do a lot of the manual labor. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what, now this is gonna be her example of how to put the card together and the, with the steps also, she's gonna be able to watch this very short video. It's only 20 minutes long. She has the leisure of stopping and starting and you know, watching each step um, to put it together. So let me show you what's actually in her box. So I had to think, so again, I went to the dollar store, got her some liquid glue, and you're gonna want some a fine tip because you can't put glue, and I'm gonna explain that to her. So I got her a little small thing of clear glue. That'll go in her kit. Again, we have all the pieces, all everything's marked with the with the steps on it. Okay. So this is everything in the kit, in the card kit. All the pieces for the card with all the instructions. Um, the card base, which you hear the card base, the card base, of course the envelopes. Okay. And then also I'm gonna put in her box uh, some um, because if she, if she may not feel comfortable with, um, the glue, then she can also have some tape. So I'm putting in a very small, I think it's like an eighth of an inch, um, double-sided tape. So there you go. That's the very first card kit. I hope you guys liked it. Um, remember, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, Crafting with Lola and Oscar. And if you need anything, have any questions, you know where to find me.